Okay, Maria, you were asking about how to set up Calendly into a pop-up. Let me show you how to do that. So let's go into our Calendly account first, and you're going to see whatever meeting types you have set up right here. And you're just going to click on the little gear icon and come down to Add to Website. And I've tested out the pop-up widget and the pop-up text, and I really couldn't get it to work, or I didn't like the way it was working or something. And then I just said, well, why don't I just grab the inline embed code and put it into the pop-up that way i don't have to try to be you know using the calendly's code to create the pop-up i already have one existing and that way i can just uh, connect every single button on my page to that pop-up which is exactly the way you have yours set up so you can come in here and you can uh, click on hide event details not sure what that'll do but this little message will tell me uh but then we got our background color oh, let me kill that uh, we can change out our background color. We can change out the text color. We can change out the button and link color. You can style that to look more like your website if you want. And then when you're done, all you're going to do is click on copy code. Now you're going to notice one thing here. It says height of 630 pixels. And I'll show you what happens when we just put in the code. And then I'll show you how we can uh, fix that up a little bit. So let me go into my site itself and show you what it looks like. I do believe I have this set at the 630 mark. So let's just open this up. Yeah, see what happens here is because it's set at 630, although there's all kinds of white down here at the bottom, you still have this, this scroll bar you have to deal with. So I'll show you how to fix that in a minute. But once we have this in and we just click on it and then you can pick a time, but again, you know, we got a height issue here. And so we can pick a time, we can confirm, and then you can start putting in your information. But again, we've got kind of a height issue. So let's kill this. Let's go into our code itself. So we're in the site. All we got to do is come up to the uh, show the pop-up. And then once we get the pop-up to come up, we're just going to put in a new um, new element. And in this case here, it's a custom JavaScript element and let me click on the pop-up here let's add a new element just to show you where that is if i can get this to open up there we go and we'll scroll all the way down to the very bottom and it's this element right down here just want to pop that up into place and then once you have that in there we just click on it now let me show you this here edit uh, the pop-up settings let's uh, do that and so i have a top margin of 25 and it says don't show on exit because I have it showing on all the button clicks. So I don't want it to show on an exit. Modal width is large. And then we have a backdrop of about 40%. Uh, so it's black, but it's 40%. And background color of white. So that would match whatever the background color of Calendly is. Uh, but again, you can play around with that however you want. So now let's just go into the custom JavaScript HTML box. Open that up. Everything's running a little slow here. And we're going to open up the code editor. And all you got to do is take that code that you got over here from Calendly that we copied out of here. Just take that and just drop all that code right in here. But I already showed you how you got a problem with the scroll bar on the right-hand side. So what I found is if you set this to 1400 for the height, set that to 1400, then that uh, scroll bar goes away. So let us save this. And again, this might take a second because everything's running really slow. As soon as I turn on recorder, it just slows down to a snail's pace. So we'll let that save. And then we will preview the page and hopefully all of the um, all of the updates took and we're going to get our 1400. So as soon as that comes up, I'll click on the button and let's see if we can get that pop up to come up. And it sent me to a video instead. I must have clicked on the video of Moshi as it was loading. So we'll let it load a little bit more first this time. And now we will click the button and it goes a little bit dark as it's slowly pulling up because the page is still loading. And eventually it's going to get there. It's working. It's thinking. I could sing a little song. I don't know how to tap dance. 
I can swing dance. I can do some other dancing, but um, okay. So here we go. Click on the 29th. We'll click on 3 p.m. We will confirm that. And then all of my questions are right here. Uh, scroll bar is gone. And so that's the way I have it set up. Got any questions? Let me know.